So in August, 2021, my original YouTube channel with 101,000 subscribers was finally deleted for medical misinformation, even though I'm going to contend and the videos are still viewable somewhere and I can show you how to get there. I'll put a link. I contend that I didn't put out any medical misinformation. In fact, the information I put out was true, but they still decided to uh, give me strikes that added up to three and finally it was gone. And um, there are documents that are out now on Twitter. You could call it a type of Twitter files that was released by the attorney general of the state of Missouri, which show that the government was trying to shut down content like what I was posting on my account, the original lift the veil. So let me show you what this information contains. And this was put out by the attorney general of Missouri or Missouri Gen attorney general, Andrew Bailey. And I have the tweet thread unrolled here. This shows actual government collusion with social media to censor Americans uh, for what the government called misinformation, even though it was true. So let me read this thread for you, okay? This is pretty explosive information that just came out. This was released on Twitter yesterday. I'll read it to you. When I took office, I swore that I would protect the Constitution. Here's why. We now have hard evidence that President Biden's administration colluded with social media companies to censor differing viewpoints and silence misinformation that was later deemed true. Here, a White House employee asks Twitter to silence Robert Kennedy Jr., a known critic of White House COVID-19 narrative. And here's the email from a Clark Humphrey at the White House. It says, hey folks, wanted to flag the below tweet and wondering if we can get moving on the process for having it removed ASAP. And it's a tweet put out by Robert Kennedy. And then if we can keep an eye out for tweets that fall in this same genre, that would be great. Thanks, Clark. So actually, I looked up this tweet, which is which Twitter did not remove. But let us look at what Twitter, what the White House wanted removed because they claim it falls under their vaccine misinformation. Okay, so this is it. This is the tweet. It's about Hank Aaron. And it says, Hank Aaron's tragic death is part of a wave of suspicious death, deaths among elderly, closely following administration of COVID vaccines. He received the Moderna vaccine on January 5th to inspire other Black Americans to get the vaccine. And this was posted on January 22nd. So basically the story here, and there is no misinformation in the tweet. You're not reading it wrong. There is no misinformation in the tweet. And I can show you the same with the videos that I put out. Hank Aaron got a shot and died. Okay. Doesn't mean that nobody's saying in the tweet, what the cause of death was. They're just saying that some people early on, this was right, January, 2021, right when people were first receiving the shots, there were some people who died, right? And you don't have to say, oh, it's because of what happened to them. You can just say it was in proximity, right? So I made a video that got censored, for example. I'll show you, um, I'll show you this. And then, yeah, if you want to look, any researchers out there, this is where my videos are archived on this site called Alt Censored. So one of the videos I put out was this one. 13-year-old reported dead after second COVID vaccine, okay? And I believe that's one of the videos that was censored. 
or a video about that topic. And the that video was about a 13 year old who got vaccinated and died with a swollen heart, like myocarditis, basically. It was a real story. The person, the, the aunt of this child put, was pro-vaccine and posted about it on their Twitter account. And it was covered in the mainstream news. Now, I didn't say in the video that it was because of anything, just that it happened, right? He got the shot. They died with an enlarged heart. Okay. People could draw their own conclusions. However, because of what the government was looking to censor, that is the kind of information that would get censored because it would, because the government wasn't exactly concerned with misinformation so much as they were concerned about anything that would make someone hesitant to get the vaccine, anything true or not true. And in fact, I would contend that if it was true, that would be even worse for the government because it would make people not want to get the shot. So that video, even though in the video, I didn't say, oh, it was because of, I just said, look, this is what happened. He got the shot. He died big with a large heart. Draw your own conclusions. That might make someone hesitant to uh, give their child a shot, for example. And by the way, let me just say, according to YouTube, WHO and the and local health authorities have confirmed that the vaccine is safe and effective. Okay. So I make sure to say that every time. And anything I say besides that, you just go back to what I said, which is that the WHO and local health authorities have determined that the vaccine is safe and effective. Um, but there are some of these coincidences out there, like what I reported on. And here are a few of my other videos talked about how people who were vaccinated were still getting COVID, for example, in the UK, in Israel, in Massachusetts, at this Cape Cod outbreak. And eventually they, they censored it, even though it was all true. So let me go back to the thread. Anything that would make someone hesitant, had to be deemed misinformation. Even if it was true, like Robert Kennedy's tweet, did you spot the misinformation? Here, uh, going back to the thread, here the Biden White House directs Facebook to shut down conservative voices, Tucker Carlson and Tommy Loren. L Loren. This is from Rob Flaherty at the White House. It says, since we've been on the phone, the top post about vaccines today is Tucker Carlson saying they don't work. Yesterday was Tommy Loren saying she won't take one. This is exactly why I want to know what reduction actually looks like. If reduction means pumping our most vaccine hesitant audience with Tucker Carlson saying it doesn't work, then I'm not sure it's reduction. So this is because the Facebook, I'm sure, promised that they would reduce anything that would cause vaccine hesitancy, anything. And then here's YouTube towing the line for Biden. This is explain, YouTube explaining what they were doing to reduce the visibility of content like the kind of content I was putting out. And one of the reasons I left YouTube, because pretty much all of my content fell under this category called borderline which means that doesn't break the rules, but it's, it's borderline. So then what they do is they, they make sure some, some, some subscribers can see it. And I can see this happen in real time with my numbers and they might do it with this video too. So we'll see, you know, you say the wrong words, you talk about the wrong thing and they'll uh, make sure that the wrong people don't see it or the right people don't see it, whatever you want to say. They'll make sure that some, some of your subscribers see it, but nobody who's not your subscriber. 
So in other words, you can't reach any new people with what they call borderline content, borderline content. Here's what they, here's what YouTube wrote back to the White House. We appreciate your interest in our announcement yesterday. With regards to your question on the tweet, it is important to keep in mind that borderline content accounts for a fraction of 1% of what is watched on YouTube in the United States. We use machine learning to reduce the recommendations of this type of content, including potentially harmful misinformation. In January 2019, we announced changes to our recommendation system to limit the spread of this type of content, which resulted in a 70% drop in watch time on non-subscribed recommended content in the U.S. And our goal is to have views of non-subscribed recommended borderline content below 0.5%. I will keep you updated with any new policy or product improvements that we make as we continue to work to help people find authoritative health information on YouTube. Borderline, right? So, and, and it's one of the reasons I was off YouTube because they all, YouTube says it. And when they tell you who they are, you're supposed to listen, right? So they tell me, oh, you know, we're going to make sure people don't see your videos. They might as well have said that. We're going to make sure that people don't see your videos. Here's more. Uh, this is YouTube writing again about vaccine hesitancy examples. The following examples of content are those that do not violate our misinformation and harm policy, but may contribute to vaccine hesitancy or present a barrier to vaccination. This includes, for example, content that contains sensational or alarmist vaccine misrepresentation disparaging others based on the choice to or not to vaccinate. True, true, you get this? True, but shocking claims or personal anecdotes. Or discussing the choice to vaccinate in terms of personal and civil liberties or concerns related to mistrust in institutions or individuals. We utilize a spectrum of layers for this kind of content that is both proportionate and also helps our users make informed decisions. Actions may include reducing the post distribution, not suggesting the post to others, limiting their discoverability and search, and applying informed labels and or reshare friction to the posts. Depending on the category of content, we scale our interventions to have the highest public health impact while understanding that healthy debate and expression is important. And it shows a video from Children's Health Defense. That's the title of which is Scientists Warn of Potential COVID Vaccine-Related Ticking Time Bomb. It says, the truth no, matter lo no longer matters to the White House. They really couldn't care less about products unless they're having measurable impact on suppressing speech. So here's the email back to YouTube from what they just wrote. It says, we'll say I'm, mo I'm really mostly interested in what effects the interventions and products you've tested have had on increasing vaccine interest within hesitant communities and which ones have shown promise. So literally they're saying, what have you done to make people get vaccinated? I mean, that's what it says. What are you doing? Like, don't even tell me this data about how you're suppressing people. Tell me exactly what you're doing to make people want to get the shot. I mean, that's what the this email says. Really couldn't care less about products unless they're having measurable impact, the email says. And while the product safari has been interesting, at the end of the day, I care mostly about what actions and changes you're making to ensure you're not making our country's vaccine hesitancy problem worse. I definitely have what I believe is a, to be a non-comprehensive list of products you're building out. I still don't have a good empirical answer on how effective you've been at reducing the spread of vaccine skeptical content and misinformation to vaccine fence sitters in the now folded lockdown. If Blank can speak to those things, great. Blank hasn't been able to, but I'm sure someone there can. 
And then they talk about the election. Here's some evidence that the scheme starts at the highest levels. This is an email again from Rob Flaherty saying that it goes all the way up to Joe Biden, basically. Thanks for the conversation today. We'll look out for the top trends that you've seen in terms of misinformation around the vaccine. To recap, as we move away from a supply problem toward a demand problem, okay, supply problem is in with the vaccine, the shots, is they're moving away from having not enough product to having more product than there is demand for the product. We remain concerned that YouTube is funneling people into hesitance and intensifying people's hesitancy. We certainly recognize that removing content that is unfavorable to the cause of increasing vaccine adoption is not a realistic or even good solution, but we want to be sure that you have a handle on vaccine hesitancy generally and are working toward making the problem better. This is a concern that is shared at the highest, and I mean highest levels of the White House, so we'd like to continue a good faith dialogue about what is going on under the hood here. I'm on the hook for reporting out. It says, this is a concern that is shared at the highest and I mean highest, which means, you know, the president levels of the white house. And the attorney general wraps it up by saying, uh, these emails confirm what we've known all along. The Biden administration has been colluding with social media companies to stifle opposing voices. I will continue to push back against this blatant attack on the First Amendment with every tool at my disposal. Okay, so God bless Attorney General Andrew Bailey, who's gotten some of the documents and is actually uh, making a legal case. And the First Amendment, right? The government can't interfere in speech. And this is the government reaching out and, and asking to have that tweet, which I showed you, deleted, even though there was no misinformation in it. You can just, I mean, 100%, you could say, because it didn't even say the vaccine did the thing to Hank Aaron. He just said it happened. You know, he got the shot. He died. What are you going to say? I mean, I told you, you know that the the vaccine is safe and effective because that's what the everybody says but doesn't mean that it wasn't true right you got the shot he died but they still wanted to censor it because you don't want people getting the wrong ideas so you don't get the wrong ideas listen to this video we'll see what they do with distribution i'll report back to you Make sure you're tuning into this show. We do the show, uh, we try to do it weekdays at 5 p.m. If you want to support the show, go to buymeacoffee.com slash lift the veil. You can drop me a tip or become a member and get some exclusive information there. And we'll see you at the next one. For now, that's what it is.